Hey guys, it's Beige. Welcome back to my channel. It is Beige. If you've never met me, I am your neighborhood friendly gay. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday. So if you do like my face, you do enjoy my content, you want to see more, don't forget to go ahead and like, comment, and hit that subscribe notification bell so that you guys can be in the loop and in the know about when I post content and we can become friends. So yeah, today I am super duper excited. I have something special to do and yeah, so let's get into it. So for today's video, I was thinking about doing something a little bit differently. So I've done some reactions to albums and songs in the past, and I do want to do more of those in the future, but I figured it'd be fun to do something different today. So as you can see from the title of this video, we are going to be doing an unboxing slash reaction to Katy Perry's new album, Smile. I absolutely adore Katy Perry, and I have for the longest. So here with me, I have her other ones as well. So I have one of the boys, which really pretty. I'm loving the way this looks. And then we follow that up with Miss Lovely Record Breaker herself, Teenage Dream, with Katie on that beautiful pink cotton candy cloud, with some amazing photos of her on the inside. And we just love it. And then if anyone's wondering, up until now, or I should say maybe all, my favorite Katy Perry album is Prism, and I absolutely adore this project. I adore the inside of this album, artwork, and everything that went into this era of Katy. And unfortunately, I do not have the Witness vinyl. Now, T on Witness, I know everybody like hates on it. There are quite a few songs on it that I really, really like. However, I don't have the vinyl yet, so that's something that I want to acquire at some point. However, I do today have something in this very special box, which I am stoked about opening. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a good unboxing and see what's inside. And also thank you Target, because this is a little bit like of a, I don't know, this looks janky to me. I've ordered some cute stuff, like some vinyls from Amazon before, and I feel like they've come a lot nicer, but that's just me. Don't know if I'm being too nitpicky about it. But as long as everything is okay on the inside, then I don't care. Okay, okay, I need to show you this because this is the first thing that I get to see. And it's like the back of the vinyl, just like popping out of here. And I'm like, ah, hello, hi. <laughs> I'm stoked about this. Also, it took me a while to like finally sit down to actually film this. So self-control for me to, ah, to like finally wait to open this for you guys. So appreciate that. Also, I got mine and I'm super excited about it. And it is the special cobalt vinyl, translucent one from Target, the Target edition. So yeah, very, very stoked about that. Alrighty, so we're gonna be a little delicate with this one, but we're gonna go ahead and kind of give her a little bit of a slice there. So that way we can have our way in to see this beauty, because I'm super duper excited about it. Because all of my vinyls, from Katie before, other than the Prism one, have been cool colors. I know that the Teenage Dream one is like white, and the one of the boys ones is red, and then the other vinyl is like an orange or yellow color, so that's really cool. And I was super excited about this one because it was going to be blue. Uh, and I felt that it looked really cool coming out of this for it to be a blue colored vinyl. Oh, wow, oh, I love it. So we have Katie on the inside looking like a clown doing her thing. She took people calling her a clown and just hating on her for like what she was and, and said, screw that, we're, we're not doing it. It's not happening. It's just not. And she did this one as a one LP. So all of her other ones I have, I have two separate ones, but she put this on a single beautiful baby and we have, here's one side of the sleeve and the other side of the sleeve. I'm living for this outfit look. It is, wow. Okay, okay, ah, 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 whoa! It's so pretty. And it's literally like um, a pie here, like a, with like the cream pie or whatever, like a clown pie. And it's so beautiful. I don't know if this is like picking up well in the camera but seeing it in person, it's so pretty. I, yes, wow, I absolutely adore it. I have been listening to the album and I figured it would also be fun to 
given the fact that we were just gonna do an unboxing of the vinyl and not make you sit through yet another album reaction because I know there's so many of them out there already. However, thoughts on the album, let's go there. I would like to say that I really do like this project. I think it's really great. I prefer it to Witness. How does it stand up to her other albums? It's up there for me. I really do enjoy it. Prism is still my favorite, probably followed by Teenage Dream, and then this one ties nicely with me for one of the boys. And then obviously Witness at the bottom, but that's not saying Witness is a bad album. Witness is a great album, and I love and admire her as an artist and how she's always pushed boundaries through everything, and I that's no exception with this album, and I could not be happier with it. Now, if anybody is wondering favorite songs, I think currently because we're gonna push the singles aside for a second, even though those are my top songs. My favorite song at the moment is definitely Not the End of the World. Absolutely love Not the End of the World. And also Only Love. I absolutely love that. I'm a big fan of like the ones that kind of get to you, but it's also cool because that song, it's towards the end of the album where she's supposed to be in her happy because I love how sonically the way that the production works kind of just seamlessly goes together into the next songs and it never feels out of place, the orders of the songs. And at the same time, she does it where it's, she's kind of in her sad through, and then you hit smile at the middle of the album, track seven. And then from then on, she just slowly starts to be happier. And then you have Harley's in Hawaii, which is her being happy in her current relationship with Orlando. And then we push into only love. And she's saying, we don't know how much time is left. Like life is short, make the most of it, do your thing and be happy and just love the people around you, which I think is so beautiful. And then that pushes into what makes a woman. And that's her now at her best. She ends the whole album saying, that's it, Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. Like, you did it, you know? And I think that that's so beautiful and so inspiring. And she's always been that way. And I feel like she's such a great role model to not just people, but also to women in general and making it in the industry. And she's always been such a huge role model to me and her music has helped me through so many times that have been like negative or bad. That's why Prism is just like such a baby to me uh, because I listened to that in some really rough times and I was able to get through. So Katy Perry, thank you so much for being you and doing your thing. This album, I'm super excited about it and is no exception in terms of, yeah, my love and how much I adore you. So. Could not be more excited about this. So we have made it to the conclusion of the unboxing and let me tell you I, I'm really excited. I think it's so cute. I cannot wait to listen to it. I already put it on the record player there and I'm excited to go ahead and give it a good listen. Also if anybody is wondering I am going to display right here my complete ranking of all of the songs in order. It's gonna be really hard for me to do but we're gonna do it and I'm nervous, but like here it is. So future editing me just made this list for you. Let me know what you guys think down below about the songs on the album, the album itself, thoughts on Katy Perry. I did a video of a reaction to Harley's in Hawaii and that was one of like the second videos I ever did and it is one of my most viewed videos. So I know that my fellow Katy cats out there are here and watching and looking out and it's really awesome and the community is so amazing. I went to her Prismatic World Tour back in, I don't even remember, 2014 and it was just so amazing. Everyone in the audience was super cool and super inviting and they were just all so excited to be there to see her and I admire her fan base so much and I love being a part of it and I have been for so long so it's been a really long time surprisingly since 2008 when we had one of the boys and then now we are here in 2020 with Smile and I'm already excited for KP6, whatever that's gonna be, whatever iteration of her music she's gonna evolve towards since she will have been a full-fledged mother by then. So that's really exciting. So awesome, awesome. Thank you guys for watching. I am super excited. I've got a big smile on my face, no pun intended, but really, I'm just really excited. So thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Peace, guys.